the Danube, near the city of Ingolstadt. For over 50 years, the Bayern oil refinery in the southeast was a prominent feature of the city's skyline. In 2008, production at the site was stopped. After the refinery was dismantled, about 75 hectares of heavily polluted industrial wasteland was taken over in 2015 by the Audi subsidiary Incampus GmbH. Within five years, 600,000 tons of soil had been cleaned, 900 tons of heavy oil, 200 tons of volatile pollutants, and several hundred kilograms of perfluorinated chemicals had been removed from the site, with no harm caused to the environment. To date, this represents a unique environmental project in Bavaria and one of the largest remediation projects in Germany. Designed as a greenfield project, the aim is to create a zero energy site that self-generates as much energy as it consumes. The digital centerpiece of the Innovations Campus is the new CA31 data center. Security and operational uptime are the top priorities here, which is why, for example, the power supply to the server hardware is doubly configured with 2N redundancy. In addition, kinetic energy storage systems and backup generators ensure a secure emergency power supply, all designed to provide uninterrupted IT operations for up to 72 hours. Redundant fiber optic connections using efficient multiplex technology form a secure high performance and virtually latency-free data link with the existing data center at the Ingolstadt site. For Audi's digital future projects, a total of 800 server and data racks, divided into seven separate modules, are located in the CA31. The initial configuration provides 2 megawatts of IT power, which can be scaled up to 4.4 megawatts. A sophisticated, holistic energy design ensures efficiency that is second to none. Up to outside temperatures of 12 degrees Celsius, Everything is run entirely using the natural outside air via hybrid recoolers based on the principle of indirect free cooling. High performance computing relies on water cooling using cool doors. This makes outputs of up to 30 kilowatts per rack possible. All other servers are efficiently cooled in cold aisle enclosures. Here, Air conditioned to 25 degrees Celsius is forced through the enclosures, which allows optimal and safe cooling of the server racks. The enormous level of water used has also been sustainably optimized. The water for wetting the hybrid recoolers is taken from a separate groundwater treatment system on the Incampo site. This means that drinking water consumption in the data center is close to zero. A real highlight is the data center's effective utilization of waste heat. In the first expansion stage, up to 2 megawatts of energy can be transferred to an innovative LOEX network. This energy can then be used elsewhere for heating. The data center as an energy consumer therefore becomes an energy producer at the same time. Of course, the data center itself also meets its entire heating needs using this waste heat. As a result, the center's power consumption efficiency, measured using the power usage effectiveness metric, is designed to be, on average, less than 1.3 per year. That is state-of-the-art. The CA31 provides the highest level of protection for the IT system. No modules are located adjacent to external walls. A multi-level electronic access system split into different security zones regulates access authorization as required. This ensures maximum security coupled with maximum uptime. The CA31 naturally complies with the Europe-wide and cross-national standards in line with DIN EN 5600. This holistic approach is incorporated in Availability Class and Efficiency Class 3, as well as Protection Class 4, as a minimum requirement. The path to becoming a climate-neutral data center has been laid. The use of 100% renewable energy in regular operations, a rooftop PV system for basic IT needs, energy-efficient cooling technologies, and systematic heat recovery through waste heat utilization. These are all key factors in achieving this goal. 
Taken together, the measures implemented have also been commended by the German Federal Ministry for Economic Affairs and Climate Action. The future is sustainable. The future is already present on the Incompass.